is to engage on what we call one to tell ten, door to door campaign. Telling our people the truth, what they need to know. The main reason why we decided to participate in politics is to develop ourselves. Is to be able to see dividends of democracy in our society. Good road, good health facility, mm -hmm. agricultural institutions that will be able to empower our teaming youth and women across the country. Security that will guarantee the sustainability of our generation. A working economy that can boost the GDP of our nation. All these are track record of our leaders, His Excellency Paula Ahmed Tinubu. If you are in doubt, take a piece of Lagos and you will confirm. When they scatter themselves and they are on the social media telling us to go and verify their lies, unknown to them, we are the digital youth of the 21st century. When you drop your life, we will verify immediately and we will tell you that, my brother, you are lying. But as for that of Paula Ahmed Tunubu, they are verifiable. You don't need to travel out of this country just from here to Lagos. And then you will know that indeed there is an emerging United Arab Emirates in Nigeria. And somebody coined that idea. Somebody initiated that idea. And that person is no one but who? His Excellency, Bola Ahmed. So, our world is halfway done. I call on the youth and women of Kogi State to please do the needful to support someone who know the road. To confirm that he knows the road. He was able to spot our own, the youth commander of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The man who has done to the youth, women, and people with special needs what no politician has done in the history so. of political exhibition in this country. And that is his excellency, Alahaji Yahaya. Just a leader who knows the road to spot another. His Excellency, Paula Ahmed Tinubu, with his evil eyes, have been able to come to Kogi here and he appointed your own governor, our own hero, the miracle worker of Kogi. His Excellency. To coordinate the entire youth of this nation to lead the way, to chant the way for His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu to pilot the sheep of this nation from 29th May 2024 and beyond. That alone is to confirm that indeed His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tunubu is a man who knows how to place a round peg in a round hole. He's a no sentimental human being. He's a man that you cannot, you know, accuse 
to be practicing religious sentiment. You know, when they went to deceive you, they will tell you Muslim, Muslim ticket. It's a very fast topic. But I want the most popular demography of this country to take our time and x-ray as we prepare to cast our ballot in the next general election. Allow no one to deceive you. Many wrong information, ignorance have been peddled out there to tell you somebody is trying to annihilate your religion. And that is why APC is coming with Muslim, Muslim tickets. For crying out loud, a man who is a Muslim. And his wife, Senator Oluremi Chodobu. He is not just a Christian, she is a pastor. And he has not converted her. She is still practicing her religion right under his nose. He has not forced any of his children to convert to Islam. God bless you. <laughs> so now what is our fear? That these people are saying that is when a man is performing excellently well, there is one beautiful woman that is showing him of this country. I beg on you to remain vigilant, to be focused, to be committed, to good governance. And what can develop our nation other than this needless sentiment? It's my brother from the South South. Oh, Southwest. Southeast. No, not Central. Northwest or Northeast. We are all 
Soniano, isn't it? If I say, for instance, I want to be a Muslim, and I believe it is by being a Muslim that I can attain the kingdom of God. And my brother, the speaker, Jesus of Assembly, who is a pastor, has chosen to be a Christian, and he so much believes that that is the only way he can attain the kingdom of God. People of God, I want to ask, that kingdom of God, is it built on earth? Who can even guarantee that you can you will attain that kingdom of God? Be you Muslim or Christian? Why do we bring it into our political discussion? It's just distraction. It's distraction. If your imam or your pastor stand before you to preach that sentiment, please correct their mental Tell them that good governance, development, and progress of our nation is never a functionality of our religion. Because when you came to this side of the table, 
tunasiliga religion matter not to us that is the reality do not be deceived he's telling you now, our pastor he's telling you that you must cast balance for some 